The FMCG industry, aka fast-moving consumer goods, is one of the oldest in our civilization. It takes its roots from pre-industrial times and trading of spices and other types of dried foods, as well as personal care products, are mentioned even in the oldest historical documents. A breakthrough in perishable food preservation came with the invention of cans for storage, and a century later, plastic packaging was introduced, lowering the weight and the cost. Packaging and processing technologies have continuously been evolving, but certain supply chain practices, on the other hand, such as creating a recipe composition, which is at the core of food production today, are still managed in traditional ways through trial and error at best. Even though FMCG is an industry with typically stable consumption patterns, there are still erratic and long lead times as many ingredients are shipped from overseas, high cannibalization between products, variable quality of ingredients and finished goods, high perishability of products, variable yields in production, and complexity within a bill of material. All important supply chain challenges to properly manage in order to make the right decisions on the purchasing of raw material, packaging material, finished goods, manufacturing scheduling, dispatch pricing, promo activities, and adjusting the bill of material activities to a product. Now, this recipe management remains one of the most commonly outdated practices in food manufacturing today. A bill of material is a fine-grained composition of components needed to produce a finished product. For FMCG, it usually includes a list of ingredients and packaging materials that are required to meet certain quality attributes for a particular food item. However, raw materials frequently vary in their chemical composition and properties, which introduces an interesting complexity. Luckily, there is a possibility for ingredients to be interchanged between others that share similar properties, as well as altering the proportions of ingredients based on what substitutions were made. For example, here we have an equal amount of a blue and a red solution. Now imagine this being the fat and the moisture component for a sausage. If we mix the two together, we get the finished product. But imagine the next batch of raw materials has actually quite a higher fat concentration than the previous one. In order to balance that out, to ensure that we get the same finished product, we can add a bit less of this fat component, but balance that out by adding more of this moisture component and volume, mix them two together again, and end up with the same finished product. Today, on the spot adjustments of recipes, is still very manual and thus often contributes to one of the main bottlenecks in food production. These decisions need to be automated with the design of numerical recipes that can instantly solve far more complex recipe adjustment problems than a human brain can. This way, instead of working on the same problem over and over again, supply chain practitioners should focus on solving problems in an automized, systematic way to gain higher level of agility, which ensures better financial performance for their supply chain.